my lovelies once again welcome to roots go make kitchen it's always a pleasure to have you guys cook with me today I have a surprise for you guys we are going to do a little baking and today what we're going to do I'm going to show you guys how to make an upside down pineapple cake don't forget guys the first thing you do when you're about to bake is to turn your stove on to the desired temperature which is 250 degrees Fahrenheit for this cake and also for this recipe you put a little tray with water in the bottom of your oven and that's to make your cake really really moist while being baked okay let's get on with it here today for my recipe I'm using flour sugar milk eggs crushed pineapples pineapples juice butter salted real butter um a pinch of salt baking powder and cherries we are also using vanilla essence and some vanilla powder the next thing you do you make sure you grease your tin to the bottom very carefully make sure you get all the corners and you do the sides. I also have, if you can see, a piece of parchment paper to the bottom of my tray. Okay, now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna sprinkle a little sugar to the bottom of this tray, because don't forget, we're doing pineapple upside down cake. So this sugar is gonna make a really nice syrup as our cake is being baked. So you see how I'm just dusting the bottom with the sugar and if you like it sweet go ahead put as much sugar as you want I have one third of a cup of sugar here and I'm just gonna put it to the bottom evenly so all of the liquor and the batter could get some when we're distributing the cake so what we're gonna do now we're gonna place the sliced pineapples to the bottom of the cake first to the middle you put the first one and then you go around just like so you go around like that and you put the whole pineapples just like that and then you come in with your cherries and you lay them in the center of your cake of your pineapple sorry Just like that. Okay, folks, we're gonna leave this aside and we're gonna go to prepare the mixture. I like to sift my flour, guys. I like to sift my flour. The reason you get a lighter, fluffier cake. So I'm gonna throw in my flour here. I have one cup and a half of flour. And I'm also gonna put in my baking powder at this moment and sift that together just like that when you if you just throw it in like that your flour is just clumpy you see how light this looks you put that in there just like this And you see what I'm talking, so you have a little bit of lumps in there. You can just take your hand and just do like this and just get it out. Simple. Just like that. So everything is sifted out nice. And look how smooth this looks. Okay, see how light it looks? I'm going to throw in my eggs, guys. And if you look, you can see that I took the little eyes out. They make your cakes really, really fresh. So I love to take them out. There's no eyes in this. Just throw this in here. I'm just going to mix this up a little bit. I'm just going to throw in the pineapple juice in here. Mix this. You see how this is light? Nice, 
light batter. We don't want to have this too stiff or you're going to have a really dry cake. And we don't want to have our cake dried. You want a nice, light, fluffy cake. Look at this. You throw in your vanilla and your little pinch of salt. Also you throw in one teaspoon of vanilla essence, just like that. And a little bit of milk. So you have a nice, smooth, beautiful mixture. And you don't want to beat it too much. You just basically fold it in. When you're making your cake, you fold it. You don't beat it. You want it to be nice and moist. So you do a folding motion like this. Look how creamy this looks. That's the secret to a beautiful, moist cake. I like to throw in pineapple slices in the crushed pineapples. You get a nice pineapple taste when you're done baking this. Look at this, guys. Very moist. Very moist. You see? Look at this. You don't want it hard and dried out. So that's a very easy process, guys. It's not hard. And now what we're gonna do, we're gonna put it in our, our, our tray. You're just gonna wanna get everything in the in the tray. So gonna do this. I'm just gonna make sure there's no lumps. Look at that. Look at the nice soft batter we have here. Easy and simple. A lot of people think baking is hard, but it's not. You just have to learn to figure things out. And you just do like this, which is all around evenly. And we're going to put this in the oven at 350 degrees for 30 minutes. Guys, I'm going to put this in the oven and make sure it's in the middle of the oven so the heat is distributed evenly around this mixture. Folks, I'll be back with you in 30 minutes. It's been 30 minutes since our cake has been in the oven. Let's go in and do the toothpick test and see what's going on with this baby guys oh this looks beautiful let's see if it's done well this side is done let's check the middle there's just a little bit of liquid on that but you know what this can work. It's not that bad. So, our cake is done. It looks beautiful on the outside. Um, we have to take a minute before this cools. I'm going to turn it out to let you see what it looks like on this plate. So, here we are. The final touch. Look at this guys, nice and see how it bounced right back, how soft that is. It's all done. Very, very moist. This is what your cake should look like when it's done. Very moist, very spring-like. My folks, this is it for today. If you guys like what you've seen today, Give a thumbs up, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe. And please try this dish, it's delicious. I'm out, see you next time.